What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Tech Talk with TJ. On this episode of Online Mac, I'll be reviewing this Doctor Pro. Now, I've been using this Doctor for years. I've always been incredibly pleased with it, the original version of this Doctor, and since I've been using this Doctor Pro, I am equally, if not even more, impressed with this version. Now, what's the key differences between this and the original Disc Doctor? Well, the original Disc Doctor, which is also cheaper, I believe it's only 2 or $3 for the original, will offer you basically the same task, or the same service. It'll, it'll, it'll give you the ability to remove large amounts of junk off your drive at one time. Uh, and by junk, I mean just files, whether it be duplicates or things that you don't no longer need, uh, just things that are taking up space, application caches, things like that. It'll, it'll handle all that. But what it doesn't offer is this new interface, the, the en enhanced way that you can categorize and remove things that you previously could not do, such as message attachments, uh, screenshots, unused applications, application leftovers, uh, iOS software updates, parcel downloads, installer packages, all the way down to broken preferences. These are all options that you could not previously do in the original Disk Doctor. So the original Disk Doctor is just kind of watered down and just kind of a very basic way to get that accomplished, which is still good if you need to clean up a lot of space uh, uh, in a relatively quick manner, then by all means, the original Disc Doctor is still great. But, if you can swing at $10, this is only a 5.5 megabyte installation for Disc Doctor Pro. Only 5.5 megabytes gives you this much convenience. It's simple, elegant, and really a pleasure to use because it helps you by it categorizes everything that you need to remove. And the one thing I, I have to say, and, and I think this is really key, if you take one thing away from this video, it should be this. Make sure you know what you're doing. When you choose to have these, um, when you choose, when you enable these uh, options to remove the downloads in your downloads folder, or your message attachments, or large files, screenshots, unused apps, uh, app, you know, make sure you know what you're doing, because once you do that, it, it's gone. And, you know, there was a negative review on the uh, Mac apps that one person left a, a negative review um, about that because of that reason. And I don't think that's really fair to criticize them, for the, the, the developers, for doing what the, the application is supposed to do. So just keep that in mind. You want to be careful. It, it, it Make sure you are knowledgeable about what you are removing when you do so. With that being said, though, the great thing about this Dr. Pro is that it is incredibly fast at doing this. So you can open up the app. Once you open up this doctor, it pops up with a notification saying you, it has scanned your system and you have, you know, whatever the amount of state, uh, space that could be cleared up. And then you simply go through and you select your options and it totals up to what it says it found. So you're not actually going to do this every time. I, I don't actually say 12 gigabytes of space this time because I'm not actually going to, to, to act on all of its suggestions. But I will, let's say, for example, go down to uh, iOS backups. Okay, this is my little backup from my iPhone 7. I no longer need that, so I'll definitely check that. Um, I will not remove any of my downloads right now. Um, message attachments, I've already done that. Um, and all that good stuff. And screenshots. Um, parcel downloads. So see, you have all these options here to just remove what this, you know, what you might have left over laying around on your disk. So, from that point on, you just go down here to remove selected files. And I'm going to clear up about one, one and a half gigabytes of space. So I'm going to just say clean. And just like that, it removed over a gig and a half of unneeded files from my drive. So I'm not going to hit quit just yet, but I'll say scan again. 
And just like that, it really does. And see, it, so it tells you again how much you have left now. And this is one of the best utilities. I can't say this enough, guys. One of the best NAC utilities you can buy. And if you if you really are very careful about managing your storage the way I am on your NAC, then this is a must-have utility for you. And it's well worth every penny that you're going to spend on it. Um, and the, the developer makes other utilities such as Memory Cleaner and Memory Cleaner 2, which I also used. Um, so I've been using these apps for quite some time that this developer uses, um, or this developer produces, I mean. And it's always been a very pleasant um, experience using these utilities. And I highly recommend it that you go check it out. And guys, if you do go check out other videos of this Dr. Pro, please feel free to mention me in the comments and link to my video. I would greatly appreciate if people spread the word that I do create these videos, especially when I review um, applications like this, because I stand by this 100%. And I really think people should, should know about how about this Dr. Pro and why it is so essential um, to have utilities that do this kind of stuff. So with that being said, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Until then, peace out for now.